blossom is showing on the trees. Time now to plan the planting of the garden for the summer display. The soil, having been dug, limed and rested during the winter, is awaiting our pleasure. For the man who likes a garden, but prefers to spend his weekends at tennis or bowls, we suggest he interests his wife in the gentle art of gardening. Get together an attractive collection of illustrated catalogues and let her plan the layout and select the plot. Then buy a nice light barrow and set of garden tools and let the little lady enjoy herself. A judicious amount of interest and praise of her efforts is practically all that's necessary to keep the work moving. However, if you find her enthusiasm waning after a few weeks of digging and preparing the soil for planting, it is advisable to lend her a helping hand. For instance, driving in 500 dahlia stakes is rather a lot to expect of one weak woman. You will then find her quite capable of doing all the planting, annuals, as well as the 500 dahlias. Weekly cultivation of the soil between the growing plants keeps the soil open and sweet and free from weeds. When the first flowers come into bloom, the work becomes more interesting. Lavender queen petunias, followed by phlox and sulfur glosses. Express your appreciation and amazement at the quality of the bloom. It will give her strength to continue with the later plants. Perennial flocks make their reappearance without much effort other than mulching and liberal watering. Dahlias require constant attention, tying to the stakes when about one foot in height and again as they reach the top. The annual aster has a short flowering period, but the beauty of the various types makes their cultivation well worthwhile. Watering is a continuous task through the summer months, and the distance covered by walking to move the hoses every half hour works out at about 10 miles per day. But walking is a very healthy exercise. A bed of zinnia. The giant type at the back with a border of lilliput. So here we have the finished garden in full bloom, with no effort by our man of the house or self-denial in regard to sport. He can now invite his friends to view the garden, proudly pointing out special features and basking in their appreciation of our effort. Perennial aster adds brilliance to the scene, whilst quieter touches of interest are goldfish and water lilies in the pond. The 
after walk is much appreciated by the bees. By the time the dahlias come into bloom, the flesh may be getting rather weak, but the spirit is full of enthusiasm as we admire the graduated effect of the main section, edged with the borderer, Ursa. Some of the charm. Then the cactus varieties, Lastly, but certainly not least, the giant decorative. Their size ranging from 11 to 14 inches in diameter. The Easter lilies remind us that summer is drawing to a close. Now, after six months of hard work, the producer of this glorious display has time to relax and survey with an air of satisfaction and justifiable pride this achievement.